so happy. Uh, Diablo 3 has been um, a very challenging game to make, and we have put in so much effort to get it right. Uh, you know, we have a lot of expectations to meet, particularly considering the history of Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, and it has been a lot of effort to really introduce that third version of the franchise and stay true to the originals. Um, so we've put in so much effort into getting it right, and we're, we're just overjoyed to finally be getting the game out. And we know the world is waiting for it, and it's just a couple weeks away. So I, I can't tell you how excited we all are. Well, the Diablo franchise defined the action RPG genre. And, you know, ultimately it's about, about progressing a character from a very sort of a new and weak state to a very powerful state. But then we continue to increase the challenge as you progress through the game. So it's really about facing what feels like overwhelming odds, but then coming out victorious. And that is something that we have held to um, throughout the development of Diablo 3. And it's sort of the core nature of the Diablo franchise. You know, from a player experience, Diablo seems um, somewhat simple. It's, it's not a complex game in terms of getting in and, and playing. Um, and it's very, very easy to get into, get into, it's very quick. The reality is that underneath all of that is a, a very dynamic, robust game engine that is building worlds for you randomly. Everything that happens is a random experience, which means um, there's so many pieces to put together for this game and so much to balance against, against random content. You know, we're dealing with scenarios that are almost infinite in terms of replayability and newness that happens. So uh, it has provided a huge challenge in terms of development. Um, I often use the analogy of a, a Lego model of the Death Star, right? It's just a big sphere, but if you take it apart, it's hundreds, maybe thousands of little pieces, and Diablo 3 is very much that way. So the completed game just feels like somewhat simplistic, but the way that it's put together, there's just so many thousands of elements that we have to track and make sure fit together and actually work. And then just the fact that there's so much random content um, it means that testing the game is harder because if there are infinite combinations, well, we don't have infinite testing resources. So we have to find ways to make sure things work without having to test every combination. So um, even though the gameplay is uh, elegant and simple, the construction of the world and the mechanics is incredibly complex. At Blizzard, design, um, designers play games. We, we, we all play games. We play as many games as we can because we want to learn what other people are doing. And we, we, we get inspiration from all over the place. Um, so we absolutely want to see what other companies are doing, what, what, you know, what decisions they're making, especially if they're making a game like we've already made and like we're going to make. Well, let's see what ideas there. Because it's, it's a very symbiotic relationship, I think, between all the games where um, you know, we make something and then somebody else is inspired by what we made and they make something and they add to it and then we look at it and go, wow, that's really cool what they did. So I think just overall in the art form of making games, you know, we're all students of, of everyone's creation. We all have ideas about possibilities, but right now we're sort of, we move into other platforms very slowly. You know, we're right now researching the idea of Diablo 3 on other platforms, um, but we haven't, like consoles, you know, it's, it's known that we are exploring console. We haven't made any announcements. We're going to see if we can actually do it before we make any commitment to it. But we, we explore slowly because we have such a high quality standard and um, we don't just jump into things without knowing if we can be completely successful. So, um, yes, we are we're exploring ideas, but we're not committing to anything. You know, we also have a wait and see attitude. We, we kind of wait to see how these platforms are going to do before we jump into them. Um, and also because we take so long in our development cycles, we don't want to spread ourselves thin by trying to do too much at once. So we take our time, we, we study the market, and you know, if it makes sense for us to do, 
then we will, we will move forward. Otherwise, you know, we're just going to, to wait and see. So lots of ideas get floated around, but uh, you know, there's, there's nothing happening in terms of any sp specific platform. Right now, our focus is really just finish Diablo 3 on the PC. We have announced that we will be patching in PVP, so there will be a, an update for that. Um, you know, if you look, though, at our history, you can make conclusions about what our plans will be, uh, but we're not in a position where we're going to announce anything quite yet. But I think just sort of the general statement is you should expect us to be updating this game for many years because our games, we design them to last for a decade or more, and so that's not going to happen without more updates. I, I think it's safe to conclude that.